Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to jump right into the messages for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Libra. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. If you're interested in a personal one-to-one -one reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. All of my information is in the description box below this video. Just click on the word more and it will all drop down for you. Okay, Libra. Let's begin. Let's see what message comes through for Libra. have for Libra please one more what's the message for Libra please Please. Dragonfly is very symbolic for me. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. Libra. Do you always trust? It's not as easy as it sounds. Let's see, what is going on for Libra? I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. You may be uh, taken off your usual path and you're like, wait a second, this isn't my normal path. I don't know where I'm going. Ooh, we have time to level up. It is for all of us collectively, for sure. We are energetically going through a major transition collectively. And for those who are awakening more and more to their truth and their authenticity and their true path, it is time to trust that you're being directed, that to trust your intuitive senses. It can be scary, sure. I just did a video earlier today. It was a channeled message. Um, check it out if you feel called to. And it's called Breaking Free. Break free, you will not be alone. There are many who are feeling and, and hearing the call of going in a new direction and yet there's this collective Not necessarily fear anymore. The fear is linked to it, but shame, it's very old ancestral energy and patterning that's designed exactly to keep us <coughs> all in line, keep us easily <sighs> controlled to some degree. And um, more and more of us are being called away from the old paradigm yet there's something internally that is still holding back it's time to level up don't compare yourself to anybody else on the planet right now libra whatever it is that you're experiencing trust the direction that the universe is um, guiding you trust it even if it doesn't logically make sense because most likely it won't Okay, okay. Let's 
This is also a very big giant cocoon phase for many people. So you may be feeling like you don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay home. feeling tired because there's a lot of new energy, a lot of new energies moving through your body, maybe a lot of emotions as well. So it is good to rest and rejuvenate your energy. And if you are able to get out into nature, if not, bring some nature into your home and sit with it. That is the frequency of our natural frequency and it will help you. Get out there with the trees if you can, if you live near trees. There most likely are some changes that are happening in your material world. Some can be financial, some are just things are changing, things are moving. Maybe you're moving or wanting to move, fulfillment of wishes. Maybe wanting to move or just change things up. There's, there's a sense of unfulfillment that is taking over and it's, it's calling you and it's calling you in a direction. Trust the direction the universe is guiding you. Memories of love. Oh, look, we have love begins below that. Whew. You could be having a lot of memories of, of a loved one come up someone that you deeply felt very connected to and um, maybe they're not with you anymore let's see maybe they're the ones guiding you maybe that's why you're having the memories Our higher selves can even guide each other while we're still alive on the planet. So if you're getting memories or impressions of another person that you truly loved or had a connected connection to, they're speaking to you on some level and guiding you. You are loved, Libra. And you are being guided. King of Cups. Okay, so important to rest as much as possible and don't feel guilty or shameful for it. You're doing more work than you realize. This energy work is no joke. King of Cups being brought into your heart so that you can feel it all. Feel love, compassion, empathy, for yourself and for others. Wow. Knight of Swords. There's a message. Either you want to say something or do something. Anything else here? Okay. No. Oh. Oh tower oh oh my oh my libra what i have the chills okay <laughs> this is a big message i didn't expect all that to come out so you got a little extra here there's a tower there is a giant sudden knowing or realization and probably other things changing and shifting in your life at the same time um, it is time to level up because life is suddenly waking you up and showing you what it is that you actually do desire and dream of. Now that you're getting into your heart, you're starting to feel these memories of love are coming back up. You're feeling your heart is opening. Um, and that's lighting a fire as things are crumbling or changing in your world. You want to run the other direction. He's running for his motorcycle. I need to say something. I need to do something. There's a, there's a remembrance here. Sudden remembrance. And then fulfillment of wishes. With, with that came the magician. And I asked a little deeper as to what 
uh, in church, like within your, <laughs> there's so much coming in right now, Libra, within your imagination or your mind or your memories of love, it is rekindling a spark, a fire even within you that has, uh, has you deeply connecting to divine energy. Look at that queen of cups, deeply connecting to divine energy and feeling it flow through your body. Surrendering to love itself, two of cups. There's definitely another person here that um, you're being guided towards. And it's something that may have been a secret or may have you may have kept this to yourself for a long time, but it is something that you always had an inner knowing and an intuitive sense about this other person. Death, things are changing transforming there is a death of the old libra here and a rebirth of the true libra coming online leading you to your dreams and your wishes you know nine of pentacles when we are not when our focus is on something that is not meant for us any longer we keep ourselves so far away from the fruits of our true desires but this tower this magician this knight of swords you're suddenly running in the other direction you're like no it's almost like libra you dropped this old you dropped your old life it's time to level up i think you're telling yourself your guides are telling you this wow it's time to level up no longer playing in these reindeer games here. I'm done. I know, I know where I need to go. Like the universe is directing you too. I know I need to say something, do something. I'm doing it. Here we go. Just jumping into the universal pond of leveling up. Let's get you one last message from the Oracle of the Seven Energies to wrap this up and please don't forget to click that like button if you like the video feel free to comment i do love to read all of your comments and if you're not subscribed please subscribe all right advice for libra please oh this is exciting this is exciting it took a tower it did take a tower something shocking some lightning just jolted you into a new direction ace of pentacles below that new beginnings new start for you libra two three of wands below that no longer waiting around you've got your signs you've got your messages it's time to level up and you're trusting that the the direction that the universe is guiding you towards. You needed some downtime. That's okay. But this move is moving faster. Wow. Tender embrace. This is moving you faster towards someone. Towards someone from your past to level up to speak your truth you knew the time was going to come and the time is now put your hand on your heart and breathe deeply inhaling a sense of gratitude now what do you feel keep doing this tuning into the world around you others you know and even those you don't can you feel compassion for them compassion is an emotion of tenderness and sensitivity it's a feeling of benevolence and reverence as you stand witness to the suffering of the world now it is the time to reduce that pain and focus on compassion in all areas of your life. Today, do something deliberately kind for another. Even looking a stranger in the eye and smiling can make the world a world of difference. 
The question to ask now are, where do I need to be kinder and gentler? How can I serve? And in what capacity can I be in alignment with the solution to the suffering of the world? Could it be that you need to be more compassionate towards yourself? If you spend all your time in service to others, it's easy to forget about your own needs. When you accept yourself, you can bring more loving energy to others. Today, make a commitment to practice self-compassion. Release yourself from the burdens of perfectionism. Allow yourself the grace to be human and then do the same for others. It's not your job to tell others how to express themselves, even if you don't like the way the world behaves. Today, be kind for no reason at all and watch miracles arise. Yeah, yeah, Libra. And, and this, this truly is, it always starts with self. A level up of self, self-love, self-compassion, and then shine that outward to everyone. This is the message that I have for you this, this week, Libra. I hope that you found this to be helpful for you and sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.